This is Beyond Category, and I'm Eric Felton. We're here at the VOA stage where we're lucky to have a wonderful pianist and composer who blends jazz, pop, new age into a sound all her own, Keiko Matsui.
Thank you so much for joining us for the show today. Thank you for having us. Now, I want to talk a little bit about uh -huh. how you got started playing okay. piano as a little girl. Uh -huh. I understand your mother chose a time <laughs> to have you start playing that wasn't just about thinking that you were ready, but rather mm -hmm. that there was a Japanese proverb of sorts about when somebody should start right. playing an instrument. Mm -hmm. Because uh, she is the traditional Japanese dance uh, teacher, so that uh, kind of uh, it's a kind of tradition that uh, in June, uh, the year of five years old, if you start, then you will continue forever. So she took that tradition, but she wanted to me to take a dance lesson, but I didn't show any interest. Was <laughs> <laughs> so she gave up and took me to piano lesson. That's the beginning. So your career really got going, though you, you grew up in Japan, your mm -hmm. career really got going mm -hmm. in the United States is mm -hmm. where things took off. You, you got to open for Miles Davis. <laughs> I was not thinking when I started music, I was not thinking to become a professional musician, even I was taking serious lessons <laughs> uh, after the school every day or something. But somehow, uh, uh, because of the my private situations change, uh, change. I moved to here and I made uh, the album and became debut album. And the same year, um, the record store chose uh, as a um, July 4th recommendation. It was vinyl <laughs> album. Yeah, right. And that was the beginning. And I started my own show and the radio station was playing my songs. And just, uh, it was like miracle. Now I am traveling, besides the US and Japan, I traveling a lot in different countries. And you do have a big following in Japan now. Your most recent uh, mm -hmm. record, it's not just a CD, but it's mm -hmm. a DVD as well, yes. is a live in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. yes. when, when did you do that show? Actually, that was shot in Tokyo last year in May and a beautiful theater with a full production. And I invited my band member, of course, and also Kirk Wellum and Chuck Love. Well, I'd love to hear some more of your beautiful music. What could you mm -hmm. play for us next? Yes, next song I'd like to play is called Caricious, and we made a special version for you. Great. Keiko Matsui.
people like to put labels mm -hmm. on on music and and your music's been described in a lot of ways yes. as smooth jazz, contemporary jazz, new age music, world music, <laughs> world music. How do you like to describe the music you make? For me, music has no borders, and uh, I hope that uh, people can recognize my music as Keiko's music and uh, its original compositions, and sometimes uh, had an inf influence from classic. Sometimes we rock, <laughs> sometimes <laughs> uh, more jazzy, but uh, just uh, I am expressing, it's like a mirror. The music is like a mirror and uh, express my feeling, emotions. You know, the one thing though that I think is really consistent in the different flavors of tunes that you do mm -hmm. is a really strong sense of melody. For me, the melody is very important. And uh, from the beginning of my career, I, I always hope that um, I would like to write the melody which can stay human's heart for a long time, like classical song or standard jazz. Those melodies stays for centuries. So that was my hope. And uh, somehow I started receiving the melodies, not like composing. So when I compose, I s sit in front of the piano and without playing, just wait to hear something from somewhere. <laughs> is it pretty reliable every time or is it sort of sometimes <laughs> you get the inspiration or sometimes it doesn't happen? Sometimes it takes like more than a week, just waiting, waiting, waiting. Mm. But once, because I set the time, special time for each album, and once I am in the mood, mood <laughs> then start hearing, then it is faster. Now, you've written some music for movies over the years, mm -hmm. and I think another quality of what you do mm -hmm. in any context is there's a sort of cinematic mm -hmm. quality to what you do. Do you, do you think of uh, storylines mm -hmm. to go along with the melodies that you're playing? Well, uh, when I compose, I'm not thinking concept or story, but uh, of course uh, I received inspiration from the nature, especially like moon, ocean, uh, so those things brings the visual to the melody. And uh, sometimes when I produce and arrange, I think about uh, this drama or some changes because of the, the scenery. Well, what can you play for us next? Yes, this is a title track from my uh, last uh, studio album, and uh, it's called Soul Quest. And this during the recording, it was very mystic because the uh, melody brought me message. And I really noticed that each one of us, since your soul decided to come to this planet, you are on soul quest. And I'm very happy to be able to share this emotion and experience with everyone now. Keiko Matsui.
So now you've been playing for over 20 years at, on the national years. stage, <laughs> and you have some 25 albums yes. out. Um, how do you manage to keep the music fresh for mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. while keeping happy all of those fans who want to hear the sort of classic hits from you? Uh -huh. Yes, uh, it is getting hard because uh, over 25 ar uh, albums, that mean 200, hmm? Two, <laughs> yeah, 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 right, Two, over 200 songs and decided the 12 songs out of that. And uh, I, would, I would love to feature my kind of hit songs for the fans, but also I'd like to deliver my new experience, new quest. So I'm kind of combining together. And my fans are so loyal fans, great supporter. So they are really um, happy to see me happy. <laughs> and their smile gave me energy. So just I'd like to continuously um, develop and uh, making progress. And do you find new ways to perform your old hits as well? Mm -hmm. Yes, sometimes uh, I, uh, I set uh, some acoustic, more kind of intimate, intimate uh, format for that. And uh, I just started uh, featuring those elements more into the set, and we have been enjoying so much. What could you do to close out the show for us? Yes, this is a special version uh, for uh, the, this song, and uh, it was born from my daughter's message. Uh, when she was uh, two years old, she told me, I love you, mom, forever, forever. Of course, that was in Japanese, and just I wanted to make a memory of it. Then this melody came to me. So this is a song, forever, forever. Keiko Matsui.
Wow, what beautiful lyrical music. I'd like to thank Keiko Matsui and her band for joining us today. And most of all, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you'll join us again for more good music on Beyond Category.